Alright, hello stream. Hello, good afternoon for me. I think for most people at least by now. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm a little, been a little sick this week, but I'm here to do my GMNs. Um, so we played our first uh, full session this week. Last time we only had a half hour to play. Uh, this past Thursday, a lot of weird shit happened. And I know it's Apocalypse World and, like, weird shit is supposed to happen, but also, like, like, it got weirder than I was expecting so early. Um, so let's, let's look at our threats here. As always, I'm accompanied by my you-need-to-do-your-work bird noises. Very restful. Um... So we're just going to go through the threats and see which ones need updating. Um, starting with the candy shop. So we got a brief look at the candy shop um, last session. Yes, I can lower the sounds of the bird. Um, that's already as low as it gets. That should be lower for you guys. Thank you. Um, sorry about that. So, as I was saying, the candy shop had a brief appearance um, when Grandma Gucci went to go fix the apparatus they were calling a bone saw, but it was like a piece of factory equipment for cutting pipes. Booties, Booties medicine works in mysterious ways. Um, Tar was clear that she doesn't, that Booty doesn't actually know what she's doing, um, but it seems to work. Uh, yeah, there's a delay, of course, on chat, but let me know if it sounds better soon. I'll keep an eye on chat. Um, so, I don't know that we need to do any updates here. Um... But we can look at the... Why is this so loud? There we go. Uh, we can look at our six questions. Uh, nobody needs to be added to the cast. It's still Booty, Bob, and Barker. Um, Bob, what we can do is update. Bob is genial, yet sinister. Something, something's off about Bob. Uh, Barker is conic. Barker doesn't, doesn't say much. Uh, Bob talks a lot, but he's, he's, um, definitely something off about him. I think he's He's, he's a wolf. I think he's a wolf of the maelstrom. Um, we don't, no one important has eaten the candy yet, so we don't need to think about that. For our six questions, we still don't know how people are changed. Um, we don't know what the negative effects of the candy is yet. The candy, I think the candy comes from the traders. Um, and we don't know how Bullseye is going to be different when he returns. One question I do have... is how did that plant get in the bone saw? I'm going to put that in quotes because it's factory equipment, it's not a bone saw, but whatever. Um, yeah, so we don't, I don't know where that came from, um, but we'll find out eventually. Um, one place I got a lot of screen time was the junkyard. The junkyard was MVP of last session. Um, it is a maze. Uh, its purpose, or its impulse, is to trap and frustrate passage specifically to wolves of the maelstrom. 
and it really accomplished that. It did a great job. Um, adding to the cast, we have the cats. They're not really cats, the cats of the junkyard. Those little bastards um, are definitely a force to be reckoned with. Uh, for stakes, we know we know who gets trapped in the junkyard. It's wolves. Uh, why do they have such a hard time navigating it? Because the cats want them dead. We know the answer for that. Who else lives in the junkyard besides Oler? It's the cats. Um, so given that given that we've figured out quite a bit about the junkyard, what do we want to know now? Um, Why do the cats... Well, I think I have an idea about why the cats are the way they are. Um, what will the cats do if they manage to capture a wolf? Because uh, clearly that's what they... They want to capture them, uh, and they want them dead, but why, why not kill Rill? immediately when they had her. Um, also, Granny Gucci is a menace. A menace. I love how she almost accidentally killed uh, both Oler and Rill. Um, she's scary. Um, and... What will the wolves do to uh, not disperse, dismantle doesn't work either, but to distract the cats so that they may enter. I think I think the the wolves and the cats, have some sort of tiff. Um, so definitely this comes into play. Uh, when a wolf enters the junkyard, roll sharp. On a miss, you fall into a trap and take two harm. We know that happens because real uh, miss her sharp roll. I think on a seven to nine, You encounter an obstacle you must overcome. On a 10 plus, um, on a 10 plus, uh, I guess you navigate safely. I think that's also do, do, do. ah, that's too small. That's also how big was this thing? Okay, that's fine for me. Literally, WTF are you doing? Okay. Um. Also, the Skelly Hell is now called the Vivarium. Reasons I will get into. Um, I don't think I don't think it's time for a countdown yet. Um, well, there's one thing. There's one thing that we can put as the very beginning of this countdown. The cats kill a wolf. That's going to be the first tick. When they manage to kill a wolf, I think. Um, and I think the wolves will retaliate. The wolves retaliate against the junkyard. They're not just going to go after the cats specifically. Grandma Gucci, Oler, the cats, anybody else, the workshop are all going to be endangered. Um, by this. 
uh, the vivarium is our next. So the a vivarium is like a a lifelike habitat that you use to grow something, give something its natural environment, like an aquarium or a terrarium. It's just multi-purpose vivarium. Um, this is what was called the Skelly Hell, uh, and I it's still a subway station uh, packed with skeletons. But I think the skeletons are growing something. Um, I'm not sure what yet. Uh, but they are, they've got something going on. Um, and I think, I think the cats are their agents. Um, I think the cats are protecting the space, which is why they like uh, Oler so much. So I think the cats are definitely, they're not, I, I mean cats in quotations because A, they don't look anything like cats, they're just of a similar size. Um, and make various mechanical rumbling noises, but I also think the cats aren't. They're way higher than animal intelligence, obviously. Um, they're like little bio machines that are possessed by something. Um, so I guess the thing, if the cats are the skeleton's agents, um, how do, how to? How do the skeletons create the cats? Um, would be my question. And this has a countdown now. Um, the skeletons are growing something. The first thing is the progression of this is that they the thing that I know is on this countdown clock is that they're going to ask Oler. Or a sacrifice. Maybe that's just the first six. Pick the skeletons. Ask Oler for a sacrifice. They're going to need um, various things for their environment that they're constructing um, in this subway station. I think that's what's at the other end of the tracks is this space where they're growing a thing or several things. Um, Yeah, that's all I know about this one so far. It hasn't really, beyond the cats being complete assholes, it hasn't really come up. Oh, the Fast and the Furious are such a beautiful mess. Um, one thing I know I need to do a better job of is um, making it, because one, one thing issue I'm having is that Rill is playing her Hocus like it's a hard holder more so. Uh, and I have to make it clear that the Fast and the Furious see her as their prophet and will follow her blindly, but aren't going to, like it's not, a, it's not really a democracy. Um, so I need to make that clear. Uh, and I think that'll come up in the next se session. I'll make it very clear that they they look upon, she's the, the best, or I'm sorry, she's the only thing, she's the closest thing to religion in this post-apocalypse, and they follow her unthinkingly. Um, so yeah, these lovely Sybarites. Um, the Fast and the Furious, Fast and the Furious uh, went into the city. And I think they went into the city and Rill was supposed to follow and was unfortunately detained by the junkyard. And I'm, I'm pretty sure we started some sort of countdown here. Nothing good is going to come of that. Um, so this, this question is less interesting um, to me now. What I want to know is... Um, what did the FNF bring 
back from the city? Is that the way we want to look at it? What did they what did they do? What did they do in the city? Um Center is center of the centrals is both dead and alive. Um But I, I think I think center is no longer part of this threat. Center is something completely different. Um, we do know that dirt, worm, and stone are people in the cult. So the F and F go into the city. I think. They, they want to consume resources, so I think they bring back someone. Oh, thank you, Mr. Clayman. Oh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, they bring back someone, something. Um, and I think this someone or something is going to be very resource intensive. Um, but there's space to figure that out. Uh, do, 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 I think, I think we've updated this one sufficiently. Uh, so the next thing I want to look at is the centrals. The centrals... So center, center's dead, kind of, kind of. Center's dead. Bullseye is going to be very different when he gets back. Um, so the question is, like this, this threat hasn't really coalesced yet. Um, Centrals are on the inside, but they're close to being knocked out. It's kind of their defining feature. Bullseye has been changed by Booty, and at the beginning of next session, Bullseye will be back from the shop. Um, I think Bullseye, Bullseye speaks to center. I think Center is going to have some words from the other side for Bullseye. Um, Bullseye speaks to Center. Uh, Bullseye will give give a sermon to. The centrals. Um, the centrals will. So if Bullseye gives this sermon, the centrals are going to revolt. Um, the centrals will revolt no matter, even if. Uh, Bullseye is killed after giving this sermon, they're going to have this idea in their head. Um, and if the Centrals revolt, there will be open warfare in the subdivision. So I think Bullseye is going to come back and try to set himself up as the new prophet counter to real. Um, big question, what's Bullseye's new philosophy? Um, yeah, what, like what, what is Bullseye gonna come back and say? 
Our wolves, our wolves are, where are the wolves? I'm trying to add uh, their location on this threat map now. The wolves, I think, are outside? No, where are the wolves? Oh, the wolves are inside the distant, because several of the people in the cult are wolves. And the wolves is, is or the cult is as inside as it gets. Okay. So, doo -doo -doo. wolves inside, um, but they are moving closer. Our lovely perversions of birth. I think we know what they want with Oler. They want Oler to either... They want Oler to die, but they'll accept sacrifices in their place. Um, Center himself is not a wolf. Center is a tool, I think, of the maelstrom, but not the same sort of tool as the wolves. Um, hmm. Do I have any new stakes questions? I guess the wolves accept his center as a sacrifice in Olar's place, and they're using center to get real who doesn't know what she is um i think i think this threat is at a standstill right now center is doing things um i guess what message did the maelstrom give center is is my new question the center, center has, not message, tasks. Center has work to do. Um, I just don't know what it is yet. Center is not a wolf. Center is a, a dead person walking around. Which is not the same thing. Um... I think given that center is going to be part of this cast, the centrals need to be a connected thread. All right, the city. Yeah, hmm. We know what the PCs need to get from the city. It's food. Uh, we still don't know anything about the screens, who maintains them, and how the traders get in and out. Um, we know that... We know that the city is to the east. So let's, let's flesh this out. Um, when you act under fire due to the screens. I think when you act under fire against the screens, you roll, you roll plus weird. I think that's the move here. Instead of cool. I think that's just the move for this. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it. Uh, other than that, I mean, the Fast and the Furious have their own stakes question pertaining to the city and what they did there, but I don't think... I don't think... I need to add another stakes question about this right now. Just who maintains the screens and how did the traders get in and out? Central Park. Hmm. 
this we haven't seen yet. I think I think we're good on this one right now. Um, six questions are still the same. Uh, I am I'm not sure about Oler's relationship to the park yet, but I feel like they were there at one point. And I think there's um, Central Park is full of predators that are edible, but also uh, dangerous. I think when you enter the park, all plus sharp to avoid I think there's a move here for the predators um, but I don't know we'll have to see what it looks like when the players actually go there uh, yeah and then we have a couple of other things to do the traders are far off to the north uh, the traders haven't showed up yet. No one's mentioned it. Um, they're just, they're there in case I need them. The only thing I did update this with is I think the main dealer that the players deal with is named Squares. Because uh, I was on the bus and there's a man selling uh, loose cigarettes, which are called loose squares where I live. And stuck in my head so I have a name but they haven't showed up yet so this isn't important yet the subdivision I added because the location where the characters are is um, is a right I forgot to do this last time so but I think it might be duplicating some threats that I have already so I'm not sure about it um, I think I was thinking that maybe that the food being destroyed would lead to war with the centrals, but that's not that's not what's important. Um, they do have a food problem, and I think I think this is eventually going to lead to famine. Oh, there's already cannibalism, um, but let's say widespread cannibalism. I think I think the subdivision is going to implode uh, in a very literal sense. Well, not literal, but in a very figurative sense. My my big question is, hey, Matt. Is, is this a landscape of furnace, which I was thinking initially, but I think it, I think it could be an affliction. Um, and let me get my PDF here. Uh, yeah, if you're tuning in late, this is a really quick turn for me. Um, what am I trying to find? I'm trying to find the PDF of this game. Oh well. Um, I think mostly because a lot of things haven't made it on screen yet. Uh, we haven't seen a lot, and we spent we spent rather a lot of time on the junkyard. But also prep for this game is very simple. Uh, uh, What affliction? Let's see. Affliction. So disease, condition, custom, delusion, sacrifice, barrier. 
What is it a subdivision one of these things or is it just a furnace? Is it better suited as one of these things or is it a furnace rather? I think I don't think it's an affliction. Um I don't think it can be an affliction because afflictions are about um, what people are doing and we already have a threat like that for the Fast and the Furious for this area. So I think that will be duplicating. Um, and we don't want to duplicate, we don't want to create duplicate threats. What we want to do is, this is about the f subdivision destroying itself. Mm. Food store is a compromise. I think the next the next step is um, old circuitry how did how about the circuit tree? Um, old circuitry catches fire. I think that's going to be the next thing. And that will compromise. Compromising. Shelter. Shelter. There we go. I think that'll be the next thing that'll happen. Um, they are low on food. But this seems out of place. I'm not sure. I want this to happen. I want the... I want this fire to happen. In the next session. I think uh, the next time, or rather the next time the Fast and the Furious, um, I think it's the next time the Fast and the Furious feel savage, they're going to play with electricity and or fire. Um, but that's not, see I'm not sure about this threat because the Fast and the Furious are a problem already. What is what is their their threat about? I know they're sybarites. This is about what they're this threat this threat doesn't match. because um, they're they're about consuming resources. So really um, food stores are compromised. So this is really what's going on here. Um, yeah, like the city, them going to the city is important. Um, but the Fast and the Furious are also, the stakes question is about The stakes, everything on this, this threat card so far has nothing to do with what this threat is. That's my problem. I figured it out. So this stakes question belongs with the centrals. That's not what I wanted. How will Rill deal with the centrals insurrection? This belongs here. Um, and if the subdivision is a furnace, maybe the subdivision is a furnace and the Fast and the Furious aren't Sybarites. Because that's, like, we've already got a, a consumption thing going on. So let's untangle that. I think the Fast and the Furious is a problem here. Um, so what, what are they? I th still think they're brutes. Um, are they, 
We're not a hunting pack. We just decided that that it's they are sybarites, but they're not. It's not useful in that way. Um, they're not useful as a threat in that way because I think the subdivision is already consuming everything. Are they are they a cult proper? Are they about victimizing and incorporating people? Or are they a mob whose impulse is to riot, burn, and kill scapegoats? I think that's it. I think they're a mob. Because um, they will destroy things, but the more important thing they do is ostracize or eat um, anyone who that they can scapegoat for whatever it is they did um, to riot, burn, kill scapegoats. I think that fits, I think that fits them a bit better. This is going to change the way that they behave a bit in, um, in play. But now, now I have a new stakes question. Um, the only the only player character who's not part of the Fast and the Furious is Grandma Gucci, uh, and I want to know what will Granny Gucci get scapegoated for. I think they're gonna come for her eventually. Um, so them going to the city is not as important. I think that's going to be something that shows up in the city threat. I think that's going to be more a case of the city reaching out and affecting the players where they are rather than something to do with the Fast and Furious. Um, so let's make sure that... Because I do think, I still think the Fast and Furious bring something back. What? Really? Chill. Caps lock, please. What do the FF bring back? Yeah, I thought the subdivision was duplicating things, but it was actually the Fast and the Furious. They weren't doing anything interesting as their own threat. But now they are. So now we have this new thing. What is what is Granny Gucci going to get scapegoated for? Um, I think... Something breaks. Uh, and Gucci can't immediately repair it. Um, I think that's what's going to happen. They, almost everybody in the game so far is part of the cult. Uh, and the cult is going to get, something very important to them is going to break. And Grandma Gucci is going to get blamed for it. Um, yeah, I think that fits better. I'm going to try it. See how that works in play. Um. Because we don't need, like I said earlier, we don't need the Fast and Furious and the Subdivision both consuming things. Um, the Fast and Furious going to the city is about the city more than it is the cult. And the Central's um, revolting is more about the Central than it is the cult. So now the cult has their own business. Um, that can be interesting. Good. Excellent. Excellent. So I think that's, I don't think I have any new threats just yet. Um, Center might branch out into his own threat, but right now he's very much a part, still a part of the Centrals. Hi, Sterling. Um, but a lot of this, uh, the city we haven't seen yet, the traders haven't shown up at all, the Vivarium hasn't shown up at all. Uh, the candy shop has only shown up briefly, but Booty is going to be back 
next week um, with Bullseye as well. So that's going to be um, Booty and Bullseye are going to be focal points next session. I think uh, Rill. Right now, Center is carrying Rill around, or she thinks he is. Uh, Rill is high as fuck. Rill took a really bad drug combination. Um, so Rill thinks she's being carried around by a dead man. Maybe she is, maybe she isn't. Maybe she both is and isn't in a very strange way. Um, but I think I think Rill's going to snap out of her drug haze. And it won't be immediately clear what happened and what didn't happen. I think we're going to... And I need to talk to Britt about this. I think we're going to play with um, Rill's perceptions of what the fuck even happened. Um, so I definitely want to look at Rill and Center. Booty and Bullseye, Rill and Center. And I think Center is going to be... I think Center is going to be a problem for Older, too. I think Oler might see center as well. And then I can create... Um, I think center is going to be... Very important. It took me so long to find a word that wasn't central. Very important to the plot. Um, at least for some time. But that's what happens when a PC kills and eats you. Uh, you become suddenly very important. Um... But yeah, so beginning of the next, next session, Rill is going to wake up. I think she's going to wake up. I think she might wake up in the city. Um, and the cult will just be like, oh, you took a bad drug combination, but you made it here. Uh, are you okay? And not know what, what happened. Because uh, I do want to work the city in. I think Bullseye is going to show up. I think Bullseye is going to show up at Granny Gucci's. Bullseye isn't going to be a wolf. Um, but Bullseye is going to need something from Grandma Gucci. I think Bullseye will have a, have a vision. So that's the sixth question. What? Does Bullseye need from Gucci to spread his message? I think he's going to get some sort of like radio or something like that. Something that will allow the centrals to communicate without Rill immediately seeing it. Um, this will put Grandma Gucci and Rill in opposition to each other potentially be interesting. Also, Bullseye is going to have hella barter to, to give for this up front. Um, also, I should make a note that uh, Bob, Booty is Bob, owes Gucci payment. For the bone saw. Maybe they pay in candy. Uh, yeah. I also think I'm pretty sure Rill has an advancement by now, uh, so we need to see what what that's going to be, and how it can be interesting. Um, and what ways I can. What opportunities I can give her to use it. And so yeah, next session, Bullseye comes back, Booty comes back, uh, Rill wakes up some fucking where. Um, and we're going to figure out what's going on with Center, Bullseye, and how that whole situation is going to come together. Um, but yeah, so 45 minutes, I'm ready for next session. Easy peasy. Um, thank you guys for stopping by. 
Hopefully you are enjoying Apocalypse World. I certainly am. And hopefully we can bring the story in a little bit and not have it sprawl out in such random ways. Uh, this part of one of the things I want to do on these GM turns is take the random things that come out of my mouth when I'm GMing and reincorporate them into storylines that are already fomenting, as it were. Um, I am going to finish drinking my hot chocolate and eating my lunch, and then I'm going to tune into Nebula Jazz over on Hit Me JP in 15 minutes, but secretly I'll be watching it from Adam's channel because the chat's better. Uh, so feel free to join me there. Uh, but this this shit show we call Apocalypse World will, will continue next Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific. Thanks. Bye. Have a good weekend.